Okay, amazing. So we're looking at two part questions now. So this question is comes from which part of the question? It comes from part six. Okay, so part six, let me write it down. Now we're doing question number six at the moment, which are copied out in blue. And we said, can you just quickly go over again, please? Because we just we weren't recording then. So Amaza, can you explain to us what the three steps are, please? We have three steps. And the first step is to start at X. The second step is to identify the actions, or you can call it operations. And the third step is to solve it in reverse order. So which one shall I move first if I'm doing reverse order? Um, the second step. Okay, and which one, which number is that then? Um, plus seven. What do we do with the plus seven? We grab it and what do we do to it? We turn it into a minus seven. By throwing it on the other side, is that right? Yeah. And the minus seven is going to be small and at the top somewhere. So what do we have left over now? Fif um, 57 yeah. minus seven is 50. And what's left on the left hand side? Uh, um, times by 10. The, the 10x part still left over, we have to do that. Deal with that now. What do we do now with the time by 10? We divide by 10 and take it to the other side. And it becomes a divide by 10. Opposite times is divide. Lovely. So what's the answer going to be for x then? Copy the x down, copy the equal down. What's 50 divided by 10? 5. Is that, our, is that your final answer? Uh, yes. Excellent. That's well done. And that's, you've literally followed the three steps with the dot. You've uh, started at the X, you've identified the actions, move the actions in reverse order. Bob's your uncle, Jane's your auntie. That question is done. All right, let's have a look at another question. Let's have another student. All right, let's have a go at question number 14, please. Let me grab it for you. Copy, paste. We we'll keep the other question in sight. Okay, All right, let's have, uh, okay. What am I looking for? Okay, right. Um, okay, all right. That's better. All right, let's have for this particular question somebody. Let's have Mr. Mahir, please. Join me in this question. Go. So, first, you have to start at the X and then you have to identify the actions. So, and uh, the first action is uh, the six with the X and the... Okay, stop there. The first action is the six with the X. That's not an action. The first action is what's happening? Times in where six. Yeah, so you've got you to understand the what's written in front of you in the correct way. It's not a six. It's not a six with the X. It's a times by six. So you must be able to read the equation properly. So X has been multiplied by six. Okay, so that's called the which action? The first action. Because that's the first thing acting on the X. What's the second action? The plus eight. Okay, have you labeled them? Yeah. So, so far you've done this one and this one. What's the, the, what's the next step? You have to do in reverse order. So which one's so in reverse you, order? Um, uh, the second action, you have to do that first because it's going in reverse order. So you grab the plus eight, grab it. Use and then you turn, turn it into a minus eight because it's a little bit reverse. minus eight on top. Good. What 68 take away eight? A 60. Copy down the six time by X down. What do we move next? Uh, then you move the six times by X. You turn that into a divide because okay. uh, it's inverse. So you okay. do 60 divided by six, which is 10. So remember you move, remove in the time by six over, the X stays where it is, lovely. So the X stays where it is, 60 divided by six is? 10, so your answer is 10. Fantastic, lovely, done fantastically well. Okay, that's them two questions. I'm gonna pause the video now. Uh, okay, all right, okay. Um, Let's have my join me on this question, please. I want to work out the value of X. So what's the first step? You have to start at the X. What's the second step? You have to identify the actions. Or the operations, how you call it? You call it actions or operations, what's actually been done? 
by adding so, more time. What's the third step? Um, you have to do inverse opposite operation. So solve in reverse order or rearrange in reverse order. Okay, lovely. So go. Come on then. So, we're so, start. For the, so the A is eight times by X. That's called the first action and the second action is plus nine and then what do we do first then we do it in inverse because that's the third step so then uh set uh add not 45 add nine it would be take away nine because inverse that's 36 then you do um 36 divided by 8 instead of times because it's inverse once again. And then you get an answer of 4.5 because 36 doesn't go into a whole number. Divided by 8 doesn't go into a whole number. So 36 divided by 8 is equal to 4 remainder 4, isn't it? 4 remainder 5. Which is, are you sure it's remainder 5? Yeah. You mean, uh, I think you're confusing two things. What's 36 divided by 8? You can't do that. You have to go into decimals. Okay. You're not answering my question. What, I've given the answer to you here. What is 36 divided by 8? Um, for, um, oh, for, it's 4 remainder 4. Which is 4 and 4 8, which is same as 4 and a half which is equivalent to your answer of 4.5. So your answer is still correct, but I'm just showing you the, the fraction way of doing it, yes? Okay. So the same answers, good. Okay, lovely. All right, are we happy with those questions? Yes. All right, let me pause the video. Okay, <clears throat> so number one, we have two X, whoa, it's a bit fat. Okay, we have 2x minus 4 equals 8. So what are the three steps, Amna? Um, do you have to first um, start, start at the x? So you've got to and... firstly look at the x, see what's happening there. Um, okay, next. Then do you have to um, identify... Um, the operation, what's happening? So what's happening to the x? Do you have to um, times do two times? You don't. You don't have to time by two. You have to be able to see x is being timed by two. Do you see that? Yeah. That's the first thing being done to the x. What's the second thing? D um, the second thing. Do you have to um? Do you have to um? Um. What's the second action? Minus four. Right. Um, you have to identify that. You don't have to do anything. You're not doing anything at the moment. You are simply identifying what's happening. So X is having a conversation with multiply by two. They are very engaged. They're engrossed. Minus four is standing on the side. It's waiting to have a conversation with X. So X minus time by two is the first action. Minus four is the second action. Lovely. Now, so you've done step one and step two. What's step three? Do you have to do the inverse? You have to solve in reverse order. So you grab the minus four first. And then do you do add four? Beautiful. So that gives you two X equals? Eight add four is? Um, eight add four. Twelve. You need to do your mental arithmetic much quicker, madam. You can't be faffing about mental arithmetic. Next, what do we move next? Then do you do then you um do you do twelve times two? No, up with the time by two is divide by oh, two. Divide by two. So we're gonna have now x is equal to twelve divided by two, which is um two. What oh, happened? happened there? Give me a second. Okay, x equals six. Okay, now uh, you have a go at the rest of the questions for me, please. Yes. 
I sent you my answers. Okay. Same, sir, but my orders are mixed up. What's mixed up? The order of which ones I sent you are a bit mixed up. Well, don't mix them up. Send them in the right order. Right on number okay. six is, number 13 is, number 16 is, number 20 is. So I'm going to have a go at the other orange question. If anybody's finished the green question, you can go on to the orange super duper one. But I, have you done number 20 as well, uh, Mahir? So I haven't done number 20 because I'm stuck on it. Ooh. Uh, what about you, Maisa? Did you do number 20? I'm doing it. OK. Sir? Yes. I have to go. OK, bye. Assalamu alaikum. Um, right. OK, so question number six. Amazing. What's your answer for number six? 2.6. For number six? Yeah. OK, well, uh, so we're going to start with the X. Time by 10 no, first. I accidentally so, minus by 7. So X is X equal to 4? Is the answer 4? Yeah. 4. Yeah. Okay, number 13 is going to be 68, 70, 80. X is equal to 10? Yeah. Yes. Okay, number 49, up to the minus 14, add 14. What's 49 add 14? Um, 54? No, no, 53? Yeah, 53. 63. Pardon me, pardon me, 63? 7. Yeah, yeah lovely. Sorted. Quick, quick answers. Number 20, let's have a look at number 20 together. Copy. Okay. Okay. Wait. So, I accidentally sent the wrong one. So, Amaza, uh, what's the first second action? Um, the first action is the three quarters. It's time by three. What's the second action? Um, minus three. Divide by four. And the third action? Is um, minus three. There's, there's two actions acting on the x straight away. Time by three divided by four. So that's the order that the actions have been identified. So when we solve the which order do we go in? Uh, the reverse order. So opposite yeah. minus three is. Add three, which equals ten. So I know the answer. It's not bad, knowing the answer. Yeah. 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 It's not bad knowing the answer. I never knew I this was an answer lesson, Musa. Oh. Yeah, let's just do the math, Musa. Opposite divide by four is? Minus by four. And next? And you also time, wait, divide by three. Which is? That's what that is. 13 point uh, three. Okay, so we got all we remained of one, yes. So it'll be is it gonna be 13.3 recurring? Yeah. Or we can keep it simple as 13. 13 Done. <coughs> okay. Well, that's the end of this particular video.